right, man. Word in the street is that the uh, Los Angeles Lakers could be shopping Pat, uh, Patrick, Patrick Beverly. Yeah, let's talk about it real quick. A little bit on the late freight. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And he bringing some feistiness, but apparently for them, it ain't working. Now, I, I, they talking about trading him and Kendrick Nunn. Um, and I guess they trying to get a known commodity. He trying to salvage this without trading the two first round picks, whatever it is for Buddy Hill and Miles Turner. At the end of the day, it is what it is. It's either you trade everybody start building right or you build around ad and trade everybody else simple as that that's it and it's hard to get rid of lebron because people come to see lebron you went through a rebuild where it was so hard on fans but they don't have a pick this year it's looking better and better for uh you know for them because they don't like they're gonna be as high as they was but they can go through a, they can go through literally another dry spell and still be hot in the lottery, anything can happen. So, um, you know, but, you know, getting rid of Patrick Beverly, I mean, they always gonna try to scapegoat something. Um, I love to see him on my Detroit Pistons. Check out my Detroit channel, Motor City Sports Talk, right here on YouTube. I would, I would love to see him in Detroit. That's exactly what the young guards need in Detroit. Somebody feisty, gonna preach defense, his leadership, you know, but it depends what he wanna do. You know, do you want a championship caliber? Doesn't matter if he, what he wanna do. And I'm sure what his, his contract details in detail, but what he did in Minnesota, we need that in Detroit. You know, you talking about the championship contenders, you know, would they trade him to a Dallas? You know what I'm saying? You know, they wouldn't trade him to the Clippers, but would you trade him to Dallas? Would you trade him to Sacramento? You know, they got a lot of guards, but then again, they can still use his leadership and they starting to turn around in Sacramento, like I predicted. Mike Brown gonna have them playing defense. That's just a requirement. And that's exactly what they need. I mean, you look over to Miami, could they use them? I mean, you look over to Philadelphia, could they use them? Uh, you look over to Boston, they could use them. You know what I'm saying? Him and him and uh, him and Marcus Smart can be like what Lindsey Hunter and Mike James was on the, on the OFO Detroit Pistons championship team. So, I mean, would they we want to trade them to Boston? You know, then they probably gonna want somebody like Marcus Smart back. So. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, if we're going to trade him, man, hey, man, I'm pretty sure they're going to be trying to get Westbrook back off. And at this point, if I'm the Pistons, I, I get them what they was looking for. Noel, Burks, any any dead contract they want, they can have it. I get all that cap off the books next summer. So, yeah, I, I knew it at this point. Throw Patrick, Patrick Beverly in there, throw one in there. He was like, oh, no, not the one. Yeah, the one. Nigga. I don't need two. You know, but, I mean, I don't understand, like, you know, the Lakers just thought it. It's a poorly built team. Kuzma was, part, you know, kind of perfect for what they did. He wasn't the best shooter, but he was pretty good for what they did. You know, KCP is pretty good for what they did. But, like I said before, that team, you know, it's just about, you know, Anthony Davis and LeBron staying healthy. All, the, all LeBron got to do, all Anthony Davis got to do is get LeBron to the playoffs. That's all the Lakers got to do. And defend the paint in the playoff. That's it. LeBron can manage and, and the rest of everybody else can manage from there. But they're always looking to scapegoat somebody. That's one thing I don't really like about LeBron. He don't take no accountability. He don't. And he ain't never got to say it. He does say it sometimes. You know, he, you know, also me and all that, man, he can say it or don't say it, but his actions are always going to trade him, trade him, or get rid of him. Like, dude, how about, you know, you make Anthony Davis more comfortable? That's why Kyrie got the hell up out of tumble where I was ready to get the keys to Kyrie. That's what he said, I was ready to get the keys to Kyrie. Like, dude, you refuse to get the keys to Anthony Davis. You refuse to change, you refuse to adjust your game so Westbrook can thrive and Anthony Davis can thrive. Wasn't gonna just shit for Kyrie unless it came to saving your ass. But Beverly can shift can, can shift the power of the NBA. I'm not saying it's like Kawhi, LeBron, KD, Giannis, or nothing like that. Brooklyn might be another team that need that leadership. I'm not saying it's nothing like that, but I just think he'd be and Draymond too. He'd be very impactful on a young team and a team that's on the on the, on the cuffs of of winning the championship or busting into the conference championship. Or getting over that championship hump like Boston, he is 
his his leadership and personality and defense and his shooting, you know, that might be the difference somewhere. It's a difference somewhere. Draymond too. You know, they kind of got Draymond got championship pedigree, and Patrick Beverly got championship ingredients. That's very important to a pot, to to a recipe. It's very important to a recipe. Very important. So, I mean, them getting rid of them, I don't know what they're looking for. They're looking for a knockdown shooter, 3 and D guy. I mean, you got rid of all them type of dudes. You got rid of them. They best bet, if you really ain't clicking, let Le LeBron break that scoring shit and just rebuild it. You know, then again, you extended Rob Palenka, like I said before, because they know Rob Palenka was going through the same shit Magic Johnson was. You at the mercy of multiple people in that organization, but you at the mercy of what LeBron was. And it ain't like this LeBron in 09 or 10 or nothing like that. Like that. You at the mercy of what LeBron won. And LeBron won Patrick Beverly and the Kendrick Nunn gone, they gone. The only person he couldn't get gone he wanted gone was Westbrook because of the contract. I ain't mad at Westbrook. Westbrook said, I ain't sitting at home for no year. Going somewhere else, sitting at home for a year, and I lose the rest of my faculties, or I fall off a cliff for not playing. I'm going to play. But, you know, best believe he could be in the mix too, no matter how well he playing. But I just think it's to the point, once he break that scoring record, if he break that scoring record, John Sally said, I just seen it. The title one, DJ Vlad, let me put that statement that he don't think LeBron gonna break the scoring record. Look here. Once he break that scoring record, forgive John Sutton to him, that's my boy though. Move on from his ass. Move on. Him and AD, get what you can get. You should be getting it. Getting why the getting is good. Job too short. Hell yeah. Get as many assets, especially if AD is fired down the stretch. Get as many assets as your ass can get. Rebuilding. You better hope Rob Palenka can. Uh... Now nah, you knew you should have been over in this line. Yeah, yeah, go around. Um, but, <laughs> but Rob Palenka, can he build a team? That's the question. Can he build a team? So, um, Patrick Beverly and Kendrick Nunn and probably Westbrook. I'm just assuming on Westbrook can be on the move. He probably always was on the move, but. Hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash out. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Memo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Memo, PayPal, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.